this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Technical Support. Today I'm going to show you two new features in SolidWorks 2013. One of them you can already see is open and that's the SolidWorks Tutorials. To launch our tutorials we just click on the task pane, the home icon, and then we click the tutorial button and that opens our tutorials. Here you'll see this is a new interface for the SolidWorks Tutorials. We will encounter the same and similar tutorials that we had previously they've just updated the interface. We can just click on these and get to a different um, view. So say we want a basic technique and we want to learn how to do lofts, we can click here and again it just comes into our regular tutorial that we're used to. So that's one of the new features in SolidWorks 2013 is just the updated tutorial interface. Another thing that is new in SolidWorks is in the file open command so we can click the open and that pops open our open window. You can see the the new item here is a quick filter. So we can still go through the drop down menu here and select um, SolidWorks files or part file or an assembly or drawing file. But now we have these quick filter items. So in the, our file folder of SolidWorks files, we can see that we have a lot of different files in here. We don't want to have to look through all of them. So we can just filter for parts or we can filter for parts and assemblies. We can turn those off and just filter for drawings or just drawings and assemblies. And here we would then be able to just open up the one we want. Another option here is inside of the quick filter we have filter top level assemblies. Now if we click that, that just filters the assemblies that are top level. It does not filter the sub-assemblies inside of these assemblies. So these are a few of the new features inside of SOLIDWORKS 2013, the updated tutorial interface, and also these quick filter icons here that we can use to quickly change what we're looking at inside of SOLIDWORKS. Again, my name is Tyler Young, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.